So I'll give you an uh, example. That The first thing that popped up for me was my dad because he recently passed, right? right, right. And uh, I saw him at his worst, yelling, angry. But this time, I was like a foot and a half taller than him. So from the very beginning, that's when I, th- that's when I realized the MDMA was affecting me <laughs> because the perspective shift. Ah. Instead of looking up at him, I was looking down at him and I could see his 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 balder head. He was balding, right in his thirties okay. and forties, and uh, but he was always a huge dude, big wrestler, football player. Yeah. And um, I was looking down at him, and for the first time, instead of seeing fear on his face, all I saw, or or all I instead of seeing anger on his face, all I saw was fear. Wow. And that was the first time I'd ever as he was as he was he was like, he was like yelling past me. Like he couldn't, he wasn't directing it at me. It was, it was all right off my shoulder. Mm. And I was like, he's not even looking at me, is he? Right. And I was over him, right? So right, it's like, right. he's not looking at me. And I was kind of like trying to get down, but he was right. he was throwing all that energy that way. Okay. And, uh, and I was like, oh, that's all fear. And I started connecting his relationship with his dad, where his dad died of lung cancer when he was like 20 years old, like, and he had wow. he had no men in his life to guide him wow. through adulthood. You know, that's crazy. I continue if, yeah. you, if you have more. Say. Yeah, and so so he was like, okay, all this is on me. I gotta I gotta do this. I gotta you know su- supply or provide for my family. I gotta provide for my new fam. You know, like when I get married and have kids. And he was. I, this is what I believe. I I feel like he was never able to really get past his father's death mm. and it haunted him and that fear from that sudden event was like a PTSD for him yeah and it just it held on to him for wow. years and years and years yeah and if there was anything i would have i would have given my dad it would have been one MDMA session wow. just for him to feel that relief mm. and realize yeah. hey it's all good like you know you're okay right you know i i can see like just you telling that story like my dad went through similar experience he didn't grow up with the dad the only thing he remembers from his dad sitting on his lap playing the piano with alcohol on his breath and that's yeah. the only thing he remembers from when he was very very young he doesn't even remember what he looks like so he mm. grew up without a dad and my dad's the nicest guy like yeah. never really gets angry but i I can see when he does get upset. Um, it's it is fear. It's like that's that's the base of any of those negative reactions is fear. Yeah, and I can definitely see how um, how it's affected him and the way he has um, brought us up. You know, yeah. I think he's done a great job considering what he's gone through. But even now. Like he'll call me and be like, "Hey, like, are you okay over there? Like, uh, is it a good area? Like, he'll he'll be like watching the news all day and like, right. just like reinforcing that that fear in his head with the news or with thoughts of me not being okay out here or whatever. But it's all based in fear, and it's just crazy to to hear your story and how it's so similar to like my dad's story. Yeah, you know? 